Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between FPX and NIP during round 3 of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Uh, um, particularly with things like Varus Band, you're not going to have like this lane lock on bot side. Draw looking to make plays early, catching out life potentially. Bit of damage out from Aki, but there's not really that much follow-up. Doctum charging into the mix as Aki, the target, Milky Way, dives forward, exhaust, knock-up, damage is there, and first blood already! Milky Way starting strong against NIP. How could we forget to talk about, in the early game, the jungler which starts... Side, thing. you had a ward on his Raptors when he was taking them, so you know his pathing is matching you. But I don't really see the angle that NIP saw themselves. Life could be in trouble though. Maybe this is the angle. The follow-up on the next play. Chuo grabs the kill with Ignite. Well, if it doesn't work the first time, try, try it again. A thumbs up from Thothic as he knows that was he a good play. He double control wards down. Knows that there's no vision. And a nice little Drake setup here for FPX off the back of early lane presence. On the opposite side though, Shanji has been pushing in this entire time. Straight away. 1v1. Not against the level 6 Jin Sao. That one's a uh, a little bit hard in that sense. He can give it a good shot, but it does kind of feel like huge charge. Oh, Milky Way might be a little bit careful here. He's going for it. He's got half of his health already. Milky Way, the man of the moment, but Aki's taking him on in a 1v1, and he's winning it! He slays the legend, brings the stars out of the sky! Okay, you know what? I'm going to take the L on that one, because Milky Way takes the L. Aki straight 1v1 Control on the top side. Two wards immediately put down onto the top side jungle of FPX, and that's going to start curtailing their ability. Oh, to no. Good job onto Care. Care, good. Flash the shield comes out. The Empress Divide isn't enough, and Rookie finds a kill with the help of Drop. Started up multiple angles being hovered over here from NIP. FPX needs to be very careful about the They're battle ones. For this one, Rookie stepping forwards. First items on all junglers' mids and AD carries. Aki pops the ultimate Rookie. He dives in as well, double knock-up is there, and Milky Way's gone again. NIP, a masterclass of an early game, but Care wants to make a stop to it. Votic's taking none of it, dives on in to get into the action, but a TP now coming on through. A Shala who joins into the mix, but Shanji's beaten him to the punch. It's the top lane difference here, as Shanji now has gone too far. Rookie with a charm, denies any kind of escape from Shala who, one more auto, is not quite enough. The solo laners get away, but NIP, they're demolishing FPX. Oh man, NIP, their early games have By been... By the time Twitch starts pressing Q, we know where he is. It's the big thing about Twitch and Evelyn. I mean, funnily enough, both those champions were meta all the way back 10 years ago. Shala, who tries to get a big oh, play here, gets the no. drag back. It's a big pick onto Joel. That's the engage tool for NIP. Herald comes in in the mid lane, but will not finish the tower. Potential opportunity here because Care is up top. Oh, TP coming out from Shanji. Rookie's on his way to the top side as well. Care, you've got to get out of dodge, but he's got no tower to get to. Ultimate already used, but Rookie's coming. And They're fighting mid lane. His ultimate, and in the meantime, Doctum's gone down. Charmlands as well as Care falls at the top side. NIP strike back. Despite the fact that this was an initial pick from Fun Plus Phoenix, they can't secure the inventory because he's bought up this very cheap item in the early game and has been um, the beneficiary of that one. Now NLP walking towards Shallow who on the bot side. There's no, there's no real ability to bail him out here, I don't think. What a Nocturne comp's good at. It's catching people out in the side lane. What a Shallow who and Care doing? Getting caught out on the side lane time and time again. FPX are being picked apart. And this is as Dragon spawns as well. So it's not even like FPX have a cross map for an objective. Of course, it wouldn't even be a cross map. It would be on the same side of it. FPX have been really sucker punched by this one. I feel like they've um, not respected the combo enough. Another charm in mid lane. Rookie pulls that ultimate. And again, just continually going forward and shunking out. Now there's no way that FPX can defend their mid lane turret, you have to imagine. If that charm hits with uh, with Joel there, you just know it's going to be a dive. Obviously, life did have that devour available, but... Well, this is the thing which Rookie is specialized at, finding that pocket of vision and doing his one-man army picks on the side. He's done it versus some very big players in this split. Care, he's walking into it again. Oh. Rookie's been here for a million years. Finds he's the not charm. going for Care, he's going for Dogdom instead, but he's forced away this time around. Aki's gone deep for this one, exhaust popped, but there's the damage. Dogdom down and Another charm. charmed as well. Fotic dives into the mix and sets up for a second. Shalahu all out onto Rookie. One spirit rush remains, and with a flash, he gets out to save. Safety! Rookie is unbelievable! Oh, this guy just takes matters into his own hands, and NIP will clean up another kill potentially onto Shalahu. No, he lives just about. 
Baron up on the cards, though. And if anyone can do it, it's Rookie on this Ari. Milky Way may be an all-star, but Rookie is the all-star. NIP Remember, take... They had side selection. They're the higher seed coming into this one. They chose to be on the red side. Didn't deem this Ari to be enough of a potential issue. And uh, I think they've... Uh, regretted that decision at this yeah, point a little bit just do, a little yeah i do wonder though like they'll have side selection for the first three games Here we go never mind Dwarf going in for the all-in rookie's there to follow it up but the damage isn't actually done just yet and it's draw to go down nice start for fpx shanti was nowhere near the plate oh the charm lands and votes it can follow it up no life what a blunder Oh, just as you thought FPX got themselves a clean one for none, it just is not allowed by Rookie. He's going to go back, he's going to teleport back into the play as well. And again, that ultimate, very low cooldown. So FPX, if they take long enough time, that's going to be a problem for them as well. Teleport back in, and here comes the fight. Dogdom has that ultimate available. Twitch is opening fire, but Shanji's onto the backline care, trying to peel for Dogdom, but Shanji's in a 2v1, and the rest of the fight is already won. Care can't finish the job as Dogdom, he's on the wrong side of the world and Juo is here to remind him of that fact that'll be the last death knell of FPX here in game number one as NIP grab Baron splat goes the rat and NIP they have absolutely demolished Fun Plus Phoenix in this game. It's going to be a very clean Baron for them. Then the Baron buff will tie it over to the Mountain Soul as well. FPX, they are... Oh, wait, you can see, look at the speed. Look, look at, at the speed. It's ticking down on the left of your screen. Okay. It's, he uh, has so much cooldown reduction. <laughs> it's already half gone. I mean, that's got to be, what, like a 20-second cooldown? That is absurd. And now, care? Almost gets one shot. Life saves him. Fotix Buster Shop very close to doing the job there. But that's going to open up this mid in him now. Rookie has that goes again. available again and just dives on in. Everything's on cooldown now for FPX. And it means there's not really any way for them to deny this dive. Shanji happy to be the front line. This Shala who is cut down where he stands. And NIP, what an entrance into this series. After a dicey best of five versus WE, they come in against FPX and they show FPX what they are made of. Game number one ending in a quadra kill for voting. Domination from NIP. We said it might take some Phoenix Fire to forge this team. team when he goes in. Luckily, you have an Azir that can sweep forwards. You have a Nautilus that can follow you as well. But if you choose your target wrong, and particularly with the ultimates on the other side, yeah, towards the top side will mean that he's looking to take some of those, uh, at least one grub out of that first couple. Sometimes what Lee Sin will do is just take the first one because he's very quick at killing it. But Shanji's now walking on turret. He's found him uh, in a good position here. Does spot Milky Way on the ward, but can he escape with his life is the question. Life has moved over, speak it off, and Shanji will go down. That's going to be first blood, and it's Shala who's taken. And while this is happening, NIP are not quick enough to get towards the dragon on the bot side, so... Just annihilate Talus, but it's FPX annihilating a Drake here, trading those first three groups for the neutral objective on the bottom side, and obviously the strength that they have during this laning phase with the Callista alongside the Rumble uh, is terrifying. Get on a Sol. There's a lot of bonus to it. You know, your ult gets bigger. You get more damage from pretty much everything in your kit as well. So it's very, very dangerous for NIP to be giving Care such an easy early game here, but they can't overforce onto him. Maybe they can force onto topside and a mini nut. That is, like you say, a mini nut. Milky Way, I don't think he spotted Aki. He's nearby, but he'll be too late on the play. All in comes through. And Aki finds a kill. Q lands from Milky Way. He is not letting them get away with anything this game. Dashes forwards to deny the escape from Aki. Still has that Dragon's Rage. Milky Way. Oh, the smite! 2v1! And it kicks him away! Shanji denied! Milky Way finds revenge! Turned and up to play in this top side. Important take back there. He's the NIP. Don't get to just walk away with a free play on top side. And Shanji can't just push in the wave for free. Might not be able to push out this wave at all. Life is still on top side, and now he has left himself in a 3v1. Oh, Shanji. The minion wave isn't quite underneath the tower. I'm not sure it's going to matter. Milky Way walks away. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure if that last tower shot was going for him then. Nice repeat play on the top side from FPX. And they'll grab themselves so Do whatever he wants. I love how Milky Way again stops out this Q and then he waits for the shield to come up and oh, we're back into a 2v2. Hang on, all in on the bottom side. Milky Way's got himself another kill already. That'll be two. A double kill at the bottom side. Milky Way is pissed off about game number one. We did say that FPX were a team that have... Point. 
Honestly, that could have gone so much worse for them. It could go bad here. Rookie dives in, Doctum's no flash this time around, and Rookie turns the play. Life gets out to safety, but Milky Way just dives oh. in, and one shots Rookie! This man is unstoppable, but Aki wants to stop him anyway. The CC chain is too much. It, it turns out he's extremely stoppable. Yeah, QB3, and giving the shutdown over does not make this an even trace. Certainly doesn't. Second Drake as well for control of these neutral objectives. It's so hard to push into the amount of poke he brings to the table. Yeah, you don't necessarily kill the objective as fast as on hit. You kill the enemy champions from a very long way away. FPX have themselves advantages, but they get the Faris ult for free. Customer Fates call. Gotham is low and chunked. Shanji trying to escape at the top side of them. NIP try and focus down the Herald instead. Aki is here, gets the spike. Nobody can get onto the eye though. The Comet lands slowing everyone. Is there follow up? Flash forward from Shala, who is draw gets himself out. Aki dashing away, but the speed is there. Shala, who about to turn mega. The slow is there from the rock. No flash available. He already used it. Okay, so NIP, they walk away, not being able to get the eye. So while they do end up securing it, they don't claim it. So NIP, that's a sad moment for them. That could have been a big power play for them to shove that um, Herald into mid lane, take that for free. Hang Milky on. Way now at the end of this play. Rookie's he here. Get jumped up by Rookie. Aki starts it up, still has his own ultimate available, and that's a combo and a half. Milky Way flips the flash, and it's a pick for NIP. NIP. Managed to pick off Milky Way in their own jungle, and it's another Damage. big... Back into live now, as I think Shalohu and uh, Shanji are fighting again. Oh, this doesn't look good for Shalohu. He's mini -nar. He's not got any of his bar, and he's burned asunder by Shanji. Life is trying to answer it, but I don't think he can. And that's a hook from Draw as well. Shanji getting back into the mix. The sustain Milky on this way. here is absurd. The shield comes in, and now Draw has stepped too far. Death Charge will get a double knock of the hook. Is not enough. Care answers. Well, I guess we're just fighting for the sake of fighting now, folks. I don't really know what that was Boy, over. I think he did manage to finish the tower first, now onto the Drake. Remember, FBX already got two of these. NIP up against it, a thousand gold down, but feeling strong enough to contest at very Fresh least. Ult. That's a nice ultimate, and the follow-up is huge. Milky Way's the one call, but he survived for the time being. And Shallow, who saves the day? Shanji being burnt down by life. The support is a solo laner at this point. As life chases onto Photic as well. The slow is there, but Doctum backs away. FPX once again come out on top. NIP threaten the CC chain, but they can't finish the kill. FPX pouncing. This is the problem when you over-engage into these huge, huge ultimates. NIP do not have the stats to overcome the big Which double ult. Catch people on the side of a fight before anyone else can follow up. If you're here sad as NIP, that's so difficult because FPX are roaming around as a full squad. They don't have to sit on three lanes right now. They're sitting on two, but they do catch someone on the side. Here's a chance for a pick Shallow, who just gets eradicated. And that's the pain of playing the NAR. When you're not Mega, you are absolutely not Mega. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, if you walk around as a group, the group is safe. Not if you're alone as a mini NAR. Mistake there from Shaolin, who NIP can claim that vision back, and they can get themselves onto uh, a bit more of a stable footing, maybe for the Dragon Spawn in the Baron. Like now, the fact that you just got that pick before, FBX are going to be playing extra safe. They're going to be extra aware of the pick potential. They shouldn't be caught on the top. Oh, just that. absolutely railed by Rookie there. That's the power of that Hail of Blades we were talking about before. Yeah, Hail of Blades, two item is here. It's not the Leandries, it's a full Void Staff. He can do that to tanks as well. Here comes Milky Way! Oh, what a kick for Rookie! He just follows through with it. He uses it as his own engage. Care, big Meteor, but in the meantime, Fotik's still going. No, he's not! Kashala, who finds him, Fotik assassinates life, and somehow NIP are on top. Milky Way serves Rookie up, and Rookie kicks them all back in. Oh, it's the rookie this split versus the rookie himself. Yes, it's a kick onto the Azir, but it puts it right where he wants to be. And NIP somehow clutch out a late game fight. They get a pick on Shalohu to set up some vision in their favor beforehand around the Baron. It allows them to focus on the Dragon. They get themselves the fight. They get themselves... It could be quite difficult. Aki is getting real cheeky with it. I don't know if this is a 1v1 that he wins, to be honest. He's gonna go in onto Care TP from Rookie as well. The all-in comes on through the Blast Cone, denied from Care, but he's still there. In the meantime, on Shala, who the rest of the team goes, they baited the other solo laner. He thought he was reinforcements, but captured behind enemy lines. Oh, it's a rearguard action, which is not a heroic sacrifice. It's just a needless one at the end of it. 
The blast cone from Care. I don't think any either team really expected that one, but it separates Care away from the fight, so he can't put damage down later. Aki, crucial play there. And now they get to stay again with four grubs with an Azir with multiple items hitting towers. Towers just don't exist. Kalista doesn't have a, a hope in hell of contesting lethality virus prio. Interesting use of the chain of corruption there, to be honest, as uh, Drake will be finished off. Okay, they're going to try and use the rend. They're going to try and use the rend and say, okay, come into us. We have ourselves the big wombo combat. They have the skies to send, and they have themselves the equalizer at rank two with a couple of items on top of it as well. NIP going into fog. Can NIP get vision here? Ward over the wall. Shanji happy to be the one to face Jake. Care is behind enemy lines here. He's not been spotted just yet and has that Sky's Descend available. They see 5k him. on the Baron. Shanji there to try and zone the dragon. It's just going to be a 50-50 in They're the flipping it. Aki doesn't get in in time. Baron taken. Rookie puts everyone back into the team. Aki on the fight line, but Rookie's going to go down here. Health bar's low as Aki and Joe trying to finish the job. Care is underneath the tower. It's Shala who's cleaned up the rest. Yes, yeah, Shanji got the dragon, but that one cost yeah. it's gonna be fbx storming back into the game the cost is going to be barren it's gonna be the rest of his team shanji did his job but the rest of the team can't survive they're gonna walk up and crush through at least an inhibitor can they end the game here? There's 30 seconds on the death timers right now, and they've got damage on three different players. In fact, even the AP Rumble will do some serious tower damage as well. That's going to be a mid lane inhib. And FBX. What a story it would be for him to make it through that again. But FBX, they are absolutely no slouches. This is such a compelling story to follow. Dragon, up in 20 seconds. Again, look for the big ultimates. Can an important hook land on someone? Can FBX play around the Assault being a big damage? He's doing about 11% uh -oh. of Axe HP with his Q. Aki, I don't know if he gets out of this one. The Comet comes down. He's tried to find an angle, but the angle has found him instead. And with Aki going down, that should hey. be sold for FBX, but NIP make a run in the mid lane. Again, remember, they have the Varus with a load of lethality and they have the Azir with a load of different abilities to hit that tower with four grubs. It's going to be sold going over, but NIP get themselves some gold on the map. And it is only a Chemtech Salt. It's not always going to be the most uh, disastrous one to give over compared to some of the others. Good half, but it's still Elder. I think you all remember WE versus NIP game number five. It was Aki that found that spike on the Elder, and that secured the series for NIP. Foe to oh! equalizer with a common on top. The Aegis comes through, but he's burnt anyway. And FBX long range artillery fire bringing down the enemy AD carry and flashing forward to find Rookie as well. Nowhere to go for NIP. Care will fall for his trouble. No, he even gets out with his life as well. FBX, what a way to finish the game, styling on NIP and pushing us to an even series. The Phoenix may have fallen in game one, but it is reborn in the second. The dragon in the mid lane it carries them through to an e Aki's Nocturne. He was solo killed in that first game by Aki. This time around, goes with the Lee Sin. A stellar game two on that Lee Sin. Getting the MVP. competition, right? In terms of competitive games and sports and whatever, where you have oh. similar standing points and you just outplay. Oh no, Dogdom's been found. He drops out the Flame Chompers, but they don't care about walls. They're coming out of the walls. Aki with first blood as the Comet lands. Milky Way is denied. Shanji moving over. Flash away from the Empress of Ireland. A double knockup from Shanji. NIP, they are running FBX in the jungle. Milky Way taken down, and Rookie's Shallow. going huge. He's out of mana though, and he's stuck in the back of the pit. Stun comes down, Rookie, no flash available. Double kill for Shaolau. And as we said, there are a lot of similarities between these teams. Resets, ability to start the fights with you. Zeri can also do it with the E as well. It means that you cannot afford to be caught out even across terrain as FBX. Now, NIP, they're going to let the Herald go. They're going to cross map. They have themselves the five grubs. Very quick for them to take these advantages on the other side. Shanji getting gold for NIP does change things for FBX in some ways. We did say. Thornmail into, um, into uh, Titanic Hydra has been very popular. If he gets towards that Titanic Hydra, he can also be a mid game damage threat as well. Shanji over the oh, wall. Control. Flash into ultimate. Juo has no summoners in his Photic to pick up the kill. Doctor Gongli by NIP. Uh, Asol doing a lot of damage. TP available for Shanji, but like you say, he's not here just yet. Now TPing into deep flank from him, but Milky Way is already behind enemy lines here. Look, he's got to be cautious. Milky Way not spotted just yet. Shanji tries to get on Shallow Who, but he gets out of dodge. 
Oh, this feels tense. Now the jungler actually on the drake for the time being. His life on the front line. Milky Way goes wide on his first Q and Shanji. Steep Shala who out of the fight. But Schwolo and the rocket the is found. Doctum starts to fight off strong. Smite comes in. Drake for FBX. And in comes Care to set it all up. He pays for it with his life as Milky Way dives onto the fight line and kicks Votic back as well. Doctum scaling up and finding the reset. The attack speed in. He's excited. And so are FPX fans everywhere! FPX, they didn't have themselves the optimal setup. They didn't have them. Particularly with, you know, the second cooldown of a safeguard. The Eclipse as well. Life is maybe blowing his flash hit. Caught on River, trying to get himself some extra vision. I imagine that was going to go for free. He's trying to stick around as long as he can, but Baron will just kill him if he sticks around much longer. And there we go, Flash will be used, but it costs care. Kimzaki uses exactly. Flash in the previous play. The Comet is down, and that's the combo NIP have been looking for. Shanji forcing more summoners as Doctum is stuck, and this is huge for Fotic, who cleans it all up. NIP punish FBX as they look for some vision in topside, and that punishment will be kills, it will be barren. It will be a very, very quick snuffing out of FPX trying to roar back into this game after that dragon fight. With Baron going down, NIP will get themselves a real chokehold over the map now, and FPX will have to go back to the drawing board and start Not themselves from Shanji to get back onto the map. Drake has just spawned, or is spawning, sorry, in two seconds. His life tries to fight for control. FPX get mid prio despite the Baron buff on the side of NIP through tempo. Right, okay, this is a good time to fight. They have very similar items. Life might be forced to use his ultimate here, pulled back into the play, and now NIP can follow this forwards. Fotic with one, the lightning chaining the comet from the sky, everything they could want. Milky Way, it looks good, but he sacrifices his life, and the team still dies. NIP, they're just running FPX over. FPX, they try and thread the, the needle. Ninjas already in their pajamas, and they're telling FPX that it's bedtime. Oh, trying to chase in, but Rookie flies over the wall. The death charge setting it up, but not really the follow-up that they wanted. That's paranoia used as well. And NIP can kind of rinse and repeat. Yes, that's the nocturnal on cooldown. That's Drozor on cooldown. But look how fast they kill the Baron. Oh no, of course, Rookie. Doesn't even need to be in the pit. You can stay around here and put a singularity onto someone if they want to come in and contest, but they just don't have the vision. FPX, they are just not, not anywhere on the map Mind. right now. And um, we'll see if, uh, who gets to shoot first in this particular um, cantina brawl? We'll see if anyone goes for that. Elixir turns into a giant marshmallow man. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching now. Shala, who's reaching for a fight as well, dives in and forced back out. Oh, Shanji! NIP on the counter punch. It's a huge knock up and it's a wipe. Fotic with two and Rookie gets one as well. Doctor and Milky Way sent back in and Rookie, he's not even going to let them pack. He's in his pajamas still. And he's happy about it. It's bedtime for FBX as NIP go 2 1 up in this series. Oh my word, they have just been blasted into a galaxy far, far away. Fun Plus Phoenix, <laughs> they came in as the overdogs. They came in as favorites. And now they are against match points against the ninjas from the shadows. Fantastic game number three here is NIP once again. Getting these nocturne cold positions and once again finding wins. They did it versus WE. Now two games in this series through Aki's nocturne jungle, through this Aurelian soul, been able to dive into the enemy composition. It was a close mid game. With the equalizer over the top of it as well in the team fights, this could be a very, very powerful pocket pick. But now you have to beat double dash champions in mid jungle. Inches, the ignite burning, and he will survive. But here comes Aki. Can he stop the recall in time? A flash E would do it. Maybe the pop ticking gives him a little bit more HP. How much can Aki get here? Do they want to dive it? Yes, they do. Aki first blood. NIP playing against the rookie of the split. Get the jungle advantage. Here we go in mid. Cares in trouble now as Shanji's just roaming around the map, but the charm is perfect. Flash away. Flash from rookie. It's not enough. Care barely escapes. Oh, and the assassination works in top lane, but the ninjas can't make it double in bot lane. So what's going to happen with this bot lane crash? FPX, free time in this bot side. 
One of the big reasons why lane swaps disappeared after season five or so is because bot lane turret is now easier to kill than top lane in the first few minutes of the game. Shallow who has gone into mid lane and Kara has got the wave flipped up, but he might just get dove. I, I don't know how you survived this one. Aki is going to be there again. It's two already on the poppy and Fotic is just sweeping a plate. Still going to go for this one. Life there to start it off. Milky Way in the scene as well. TP immediately channeled on the other side of Shanji. Tries to survive at the time being a Milky Way retreats. Rookie now. Looking for something off the back side of the play. Charm still available. And it hits on the Flash from Dro. What a play from NIP. Answering everything from FBX. Shanji trying to escape now as Milky Way goes in. Life forced out of the play. Milky Way trying to retreat. But I think NIP won a little bit more. Dro stepping forwards. The hook onto Milky Way and the charm as well. Two more as NIP annihilate FBX. We have more than a kill a minute. Four minutes into the game. Five kills for NIP. I was worried for just a second that NIP would get themselves into an awkward situation if they didn't find one of these kills. Shanji has more than it is in late game. This is like an extra 25% gold lead for NIP. And now they've also got themselves big items on their first backs to continue fighting if they can find angles. Drone might be looking for a hook. Aki can easily move in onto this one. Dogdom trying to get damage down onto Fotic. It's good damage from life as well, but it's not enough damage from life. And Aki gets a third kill already. Milky Way lands the cube, but that's not a dive they can make happen. FPX, they have been absolutely exploded in this early game. And remember, this is the fourth place team. FPX, they beat JDG. They beat Top Esports. The winner of this series goes on to face BLG. Neither of these teams managed to beat that one, but still, high expectations for these teams. Life will finally be able to catch Shanji out here. I think he's just dead for this one. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of an overstep from Shanji and a good punish from Life. We do see this often on the Full road. Moon, that was actually a pitch idea. <laughs> I don't know how serious that was, but it just makes me afraid when it comes to the Lunari Champions. Either way, ult hits in bot side, and that's the ult. Okay, that's a combo and a half, isn't it? Nice little kill there for Life. Good opportunity. Dokdom finds it this time. And that's the power of Varus Rumble, ladies and gentlemen. Oh gosh, so, yep, that Varus Rumble. Yes, had to stop off for the Merc Tread. Afraid of the CC combo from NAP, rightfully so. VP performance in game number two. This game, there were four jungle fans levied towards NIP to set up Milky Way. Let's see if they can find the fights. Life caught out, though. And it will just be a kill onto Juo as Flame Choppers come down as well. And they're looking for a second. Doctum falls. Milky Way doesn't even get a look in. Milky Way is not even close to the fight. You can see the NIP, they waited just a second. It allowed Fotic to get in towards that play, and he starts to clean up shop. Shala, how now, how, uh, Shala, who forced to use his ult on top Sh side. Shanji's in trouble. Oh, he was at least until a TP was channeled. Rookie onto the play, and suddenly, Shala, who the worm is on the other foot. He flashes out to safety, but is followed by Rookie. And that's a beautiful one. Shala does have his. NIP looking for a scrap. Care wants to get in though. Keep your eyes on that. Diana, the moonfall could be the difference maker. Shanji's arrived. Terrell might just Rookie has ult here. now. Rookie has ult. They've waited for that one to come back. The hook misses. Here comes Care potentially. Okay, it is Shanji that gets the Herald. And now the fight kicks off as well. NIP just walking for oh! Moonfall from Care. Sets it up, but he goes down. Nobody falls. NIP even with a five man ulti. They still make it happen. The plot armor is too thick, and Rookie takes it all again. Oh, the ninjas in pajamas stand, stand strong, but maybe the narrative in pajamas stands stronger. There was no follow up from Fun Plus Phoenix. They didn't have the equalizer. It's just going to time out. The angle. They couldn't find the angle. He's trying to he used that dominance to get raid up because the empowered W is so important but now they've managed to get their numbers in they have the flag still though yeah they're kind of on a good flag and it's a kick on to rookie how thick is the plot armor after all he skirts out the top side of the fight and he goes down the arrow lands true william tell or should i say doctor Fotic charging forwards now is a hook, hook. And again from Juo. He's been so good on the Nautilus this game. And Fotic reaps the rewards as NIP once again push forwards. The level up from NIP has been absolutely exceptional to watch from regular season to playoffs. They had a lot of worries against Team WE, but here against FPX, they have stepped up yet again. It always happens in the LPL. There's always... NIP toying with the idea of a Baron. They're at the very least going to clear vision, but Fotic cancelled this recall. They're just going to start this one. I think pretending that Fotic recalled there 
He started recalling on Vision, then killed the last minion, then cancelled his recall. Is this a genius Baron steal? And it's a charm out as well as Shala, who's forced away. Baron still being taken in the meantime. And they don't see it. As Milky Way tries to get the drive by, he's into the pit and he's punted away. Aki gets a home run in this one. As he falls, Milky Way, the chosen one, denied. <laughs> How insane Legendary. that would have been. Rookie surviving care, not being able to make this pick work, and now being punished for just where he stood on the map. Rookie can all turn care, flashes for the moonfall. He wants to find one, and he does. Life helping out on that one as he arrives on the scene, and now Aki being chased out of the play. Maybe a chance for FBX as they find two. Two for one is a trade they'll take every day of the week. And this is why you play the Diana into the Ari. You misstep once, that Lich Bane power spike 100% shreds you. This is while Rookie is a full item ahead. Now FPX, despite being against that Baron power play, are now going to cut some gold from NIP and stop them splitting the map. Can they find more? Chuo goes in, Rocket in life, still alive for the time being, and Shaola who tanking on the front line, but he's just not tanky enough, and Shanji charging forwards, trying to get onto the croc. One more okay. to bump me! Milky Way finds the kick! Fotic down, but Shanji's just in invincible! Doctor now being chased! Milky Way can't survive against Chuo either, and Rookie's arrived! Yeah, and that's becoming more and more of an issue. Hextech Soul now brought up for NIP, and care. Uh, well, I don't think you win this. This 1v1, you got to be very, very afraid of this guy. He might just try and take the tower and die for the cause. The problem is you start tanking as soon as your passive kicks off, so now Kerr's going to go down he doesn't even get the tower. And in the meantime, there's a dive. Equalizer comes down from life, but Shalahu, he just can't tank it. The Orb of Deception hits. Shalahu walking away. Shanji. His ult is on cooldown, luckily for Shalahu. Shanji is walking between the Nexus Towers and zoning everyone from FBX away. That's a bot in him. All right, raise your hand if you're actually good at playing around the vision. He doesn't know he's on a ward right now. I don't know if realistically they can do anything about it. They sidestep the job. They can absolutely do something about it. Dogham's still nearly dying to Aki as a rocket. Blocked by life. Nice little pick for a movie one mid lane against both enemy solo laners. And he takes the tower. And now NIP open up the top side of the map as well. This Hook? is going to be curtains shy of a miracle for FPX. NIP take three inhibitors in maybe the most one-sided game we've seen in the whole of playoffs. Milky Way, he's Way. off vision. What can he do? He's got flash. Can he find one last kick? No! Oh no, the rocket lands and Milky Way can't find his way in. Aki just goes to zone as Rocky maybe goes down. Finally gets the heal, but he falls anyway. The resets are there, and Fotic can carry Milky Way. The kick looks good, but it just won't matter. Hard break for FBX after an incredible split. They are taken down, but NIP qualify for double elimination. Can you feel it in the air? There is something special about this team. There is something special about ninjas in pajamas. They gave us some These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs matchup between FPX and NIP. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.